All right, so we're gonna start by, now that we got spark plugs and oil into the motor, we're gonna get these, these, these bars here. They're gonna go from the front bumper up and back to here. So we're gonna cut these off here because these mounted the fender originally. We're gonna cut them off and make a plate that goes there so we can weld the pipe right to the cab right there. So. So the plan is to kind of do something like sort of like that. Oh yeah, I think that'll look good. So it'll be a lot like how my blazer is. It'll look pretty similar in the front, really. So, and then it'll have a bar going across right here to connect those two structures and we'll have the hood pins here and then we'll mount the radiator in here. All right, so we got the hood on there just so we can see, you know, at what elevation the pipe's gonna meet into here and uh, where we need to bend it. So we're gonna cut these off, put a plate there and then measure how far we need to bend it away then bend a couple of pipes and weld them in, cut the hood up, and then we'll start mountain radiator and all the wiring and stuff like that. And then we'll go do some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We might, we, want, we might want to clean all the cat poop off of the gas tank. But... No, we'll just fling it off with the donuts. <laughs> fling it off with the donuts. <laughs> Third, Plasma torch going. Yeah, this is gonna be the easiest way to get, uh, cut these things out. So a little flat table set up. Pretty nice. Got a street sign. Some angle <laughs> iron. Yeah, it works pretty good. You just hook that to the angle, and then you set your piece on here, and you. Just oh yeah. That, so. We decided on some whatever this is because it's gonna be kind of boxed in and we're welding it to pretty thin. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have to be super structural. This is mainly just mounting for stuff. Mm -hmm. But we do want it to be strong, so. Yeah. We're gonna bend it right here at 40 inches. 
and then down to there. Well, actually no, because it's gonna be like this, huh? Slightly slanted, yeah. So, 42 inches. Get it to where it's snug, right about there. Now it's in there snug. Then, I see people do this wrong all the time. You actually lay this down like that. Then you bend it. Cut it way too long, but that's what you Few more pumps. Probably like five more. Nope, you're not supposed to show that. The fitment's fire right here. But then you got look at, look at this fitment, look at that. Look how good that is. You got only like I'm like, should we like round the pipe off really? Like, I can bridge it. <laughs> <laughs> Budget, okay? <laughs> we gotta use these scraps. It's free! Oh whatever. Yeah, we, we don't wanna waste the scraps, so.
All right, so we got the hood on, cut out, and we just got it propped up with this right now that I tacked it here so it doesn't fall. We're just getting the radiator in there right now, so that's about where it's gonna sit. So we are gonna get, there's these little uh, mounts that come off the radiator that slot into a piece. So we're cutting a piece of angle iron here. One side's four inches, one side's three inches, and then section of this as well so it makes a, a C channel there and then we're gonna put a sheet of rubber in there and that'll be the bottom mount and then for the top we're just gonna come off of one of these bars there's gonna be another bar that comes across here and just go to there so should look pretty good at, in the end all right, we got them just tacked in there. How it's gonna be, we're gonna make some plates that go in there as well to hold it side to side. But both sides are in, it looks good. So I'm gonna pull this radiator out and finish weld those. And Braden's gonna cut those little pieces that go into there. <laughs> Pocket for the oh yeah. Radio center. It's actually a little too long. So we notched this pipe to go right into there, and it was just barely too short, so we just Ran a ratchet strap between them and pulled it in just slightly, just so this would fit in there. Now we're gonna weld it in. This lines up with the the hood when mm -hmm. it's closed, and also we're gonna build our top radiator mounts off of here. So should work perfect. All right, so now we're gonna make some upper radiator mounts here that are just gonna come off of this bar. Put a bend in the end of this, drill a hole, and put a bolt through it, just like that. Just getting this all notched out and building a battery box. So we're gonna mount the battery actually right here in front of the radiator because it's where it fits and it'll work perfectly fine in there. So we're just getting a battery box made. Radiators mounted and prop rods in, so it's coming along good. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we got the battery mounted on here, just right there. Got a little battery box made up, works out really good. So now we're gonna be, now that we got the battery in, and the radiator in, now we're gonna start wiring stuff up. So we still got the coil packs, spark plug wires, and then the whole engine harness right over there.
It's shooting fireballs. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're going to get the exhaust manifolds on there so we can run it for a longer period of time. Alright, so I was looking at you guys' comments and said don't forget the dipstick tube. So We did find it. It was in the cab. So we're going to video putting it in. We do have a dipstick. Did it go? Yeah, I think so. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, we're going to do probably another two videos on this, or one or two videos more. It's taking a little longer than we initially thought to get everything done, but we just wanted to make sure everything's right and how we want it. So we got all the, a lot of the metal work. We're still going to add a bunch of structure and stuff to this. Put the hood on and battery mounted and it actually starts now so in the next video though we we are going to be trying to drive this so hopefully we'll have it ready to drive by the next video we are also going to be doing the interior um in a video or we'll throw it into a video or do a video of that on its own mm -hmm. but in the next video we're just going to focus on getting this thing running and driving we started it but we haven't had it running for very long yet so we will see how that goes and thank you guys for watching this video so stay tuned for the next one.